Hello. In this problem, we have uh, an object. Constant force is being applied to this object. And so the object accelerates uh, with a magnitude of eight meters per second squared. And you know this is all the information that we have. There is a mass and there is a force. And we know that force equals two mass times acceleration. So what will the acceleration be if you double the force? So let's call um, force of a, since, since this is question A, equals twice the regular force. So the acceleration is going to be force divided by mass, right? Um, so the acceleration of part A is going to be the force of part A divided by mass, and that's twice the regular original force divided by the mass. And so this gives you the original acceleration. So this is twice the acceleration, okay? So you double the force, you double the acceleration, not surprisingly. So if the acceleration was eight meters per second squared, it's gonna move to, let's put it over here. Um, Part A, acceleration is 16 meters per second squared. Now for part B, the object's mass is doubled. So let's call this mass B is twice the original mass. So uh, we want to know the acceleration. So acceleration is going to be the original force, but now the mass is going to be mb. And mb is twice the original mass. And force divided by mass is the original acceleration. So that's the acceleration divided by two. So if it's eight meters per second squared, you divide by two, you get the uh, four meters per second squared. So over here, you got doubled. And over here, uh, when, when you double the force, you double the acceleration. When you double the mass, you have the acceleration. Okay, in part C, the force and the object's mass are both doubled. So we have, it's called FC is twice the regular force and mass C is twice the regular mass. Acceleration is force divided by mass. So in this case, force C and mass C going to be 2f divided by 2m. The twos go away and force divided by mass is the original acceleration. So um, well, it should call this acceleration of A, acceleration of B, part B, acceleration of part C is the same. You did one thing that doubled the acceleration and then the, another thing at the same time that halved it. So the result is that the acceleration didn't change. Okay, and finally, for part D, the force is doubled and the object's mass is halved. So the force of D 
is two times the regular force, original force. And the mass in part D is gonna be uh, half of the original one. So acceleration of D is the force of D divided by the mass of part D. So this is 2F divided by M over two. So this is gonna be two divided by one, the whole thing divided by one. Well, actually, I'm gonna put the force in here, 2F divided by one, the whole thing divided by mass, oops, divided by two. So this one goes over here, it's gonna be four times the force. This one goes over here divided by the mass. This is the original acceleration and you have a four over there. So if the original is eight meters per second, over here is gonna be uh, 32. Eight times four. 32 meters per second squared. So you did something that doubled the acceleration when you doubled the force. And then when you have the mass that also doubled the acceleration. So you end up with a factor of four and that's what you get over, over here. All right, so now we have a little bit more intuition about how uh, these concepts are related, force, mass, and acceleration and what the effect of uh, mass and force are on the acceleration. So I hope you liked it. Thank you.